I'll be forced to respond in kind. Little Lord Alphano. <laughs> I can trust your words no longer. Uh, I have to say that one because we found out she's a primal. God damn, this is cool as fuck. I really won't be surprised if Heidelin ends up somehow being the final boss, but we'll see what happens. I assume it will just be Zodiac. Fuck me, I'm about to happy cry and shit already. Oh, damn it. Stop. Uh, fuck. I can't. We just started, dude. I can't start crying already. <laughs> Champion of Eorzea. And what, pray tell, is your profession now? <laughs> he didn't even think about it. He's like, oh, fuck. <laughs> um, one last thing. You might experience a teensy weensy touch of violent ethereal sickness. Good luck. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Fucking Thankard. What? <laughs> Choice do you have? Oh, no. Oh. Uh, 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 oh, no. <laughs> what chance? Sneehan's like, what happened? <laughs> Oh no, all three of us. Oh my god, dude. Oriante is dead. <laughs> Against such an insidious foe. That is Aorzia's ass. <laughs> Thank Grid. <laughs> Oriante! He's alarmingly bad with coin. What? Like, he just buys shit? No, I've gotta stop him. Well, I was going to say we, but all right, I've got to summon my strength. I can do this. <laughs> I love that the motivation for our character to get the fuck up isn't saving the world. It's to go stop a city. <laughs> uh, you met. <laughs> you man. <laughs> you managed to will yourself to your feet. But given your condition, will you be able to reach the stage in time? Where is he? <laughs> Where are they? <laughs> no! The Stidian! Oh, I found him. Oh, thank God. No! You must be quite familiar with Dragon King, yes? <laughs> is there congealed blood I see on your weapon? <laughs> hmm. Speaking of dragon blood, you yourself have been infused with it, have you not? Are they gonna tackle Stinian? I should like to draw a file or two, if so. <laughs> now, see here. <laughs> Everybody's moving in on him like a zombie with their hand. that you visit our laboratory. <laughs> oh, Stinian, no! Oh my god, Fantasy Daniel. What are you doing here? I will kick your ass, sir. Then I expect you've heard of me. The old me. Not the echo. Not right now. At your Amon. What? What the fuck? Okay, so he's not literally the dragon. I was wondering if it was like an, uh, an illusion. Instead, it's like a Wizard of Oz thing. Oh? Tis here, buried within the semblance of flesh. I was wondering why his the eyes were so red. Thee is but a simulacrum constructed by the oh, that's fucking cool. artisans of Razatan. With mine eye nestled within, it doth serve as an inconspicuous vessel for my will. I was wondering why, they, why he was kind of like eyeing a Stinian earlier. That's sick. That's badass. Oh, but there are other ways of turning invisible. Hippity hop, my little toads. <laughs> That's really funny. Alpha Alpha Toad and Alley Toad are now accompanying you. After genuinely not hearing Heidelin for a long time, it's very conflicting to hear her. Hello. How are you, dickhead? These are my kids now. 
Brile is so cute. If you had seen... Wait, what? I find your lack of faith disturbing. Just Forge choking this guy? Yes. What's happening? We are bound by a duty we cannot ignore. Can he not say what it was? Thank you for the splendid clothes, mother. Stylish, comfortable, and eminently practical. <laughs> this boy came downstairs and said that his clothes that his mom gave him were stylish. I'm crying right now. Also, my character's just grinning in the background. It's me. <laughs> God damn, this design is so fucking perfect. We they look so perfect. I promise. Ah! Oh, hell yeah! Oh, hell yeah! Let's fucking go! This shit is fucking awesome! <laughs> Fuck me, this song is so good, dude! <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ! <laughs> oh, fuck! Sorry, that song is so good! I only wish that he could be here with us now. I know of his clash with Omega and the long slumber which was his price. Oh, cool! Is that more dialogue for actually having done Omega? You haven't eaten yet, have you? We've bought quite a spread if you're interested. Only the finest dining from the last stand. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. They all brought your character food, dude. It's really cute. Oh no, Corin, it's so cute! <laughs> Gra! <laughs> What a noise. Lest you wonder, we invited Astinian as well. <laughs> but he refused with a rather grim-faced, no thank you. <laughs> I suspect Charlian cuisine is not to his liking. His impersonation of Astinian is always super fucking funny and that <laughs> oh, face. Know. And Graha's just having the fucking time of his life with this burger the size of his fucking head. Condition. They're tall, you see. The shelves, they're too tall for me. <laughs> <laughs> I could hardly move the library's platforms without attracting attention now, could I? <laughs> <laughs> Poor Graha, that's really fucking funny. Oh, great, Fantasy Daniel. Ah, enjoying the bracing cold, I see. Do you not own a warm coat or a cloak? Something in fur? Or fashioned from the skins of your enemies. Or, well, never mind that. Okay, first of all, Fandaniel has been very fun. He's very flamboyant. Uh, I like that a lot. But there's something about the way he's like, cloak. <laughs> like, honestly, talk of your nemesis is the only thing you seem to enjoy. Does nothing else spark your interest? Hmm. No. All else is equal. I love that he really thought about it, though. He was like, hmm. No. <laughs> Wait, is he directly talking to me? That's really cute. What the fuck? Does that not happen? Does that shit not happen normally? That's so weird. That... I wonder why... He showed up for me though. Is this just like a thing they do for healers? But yeah, I think that that white mage dialogue is like literally only if you've done the white mage stuff. That's really cute. From what I've heard, you've become pretty fearsome yourself. Master Matoya, the avatar of destruction. <laughs> Who told? Who told? <laughs> they both did. <laughs> With comrades like these, I know we'll succeed, no matter what awaits us. At least Oriante did something smart. He's like, I'm gonna read my fucking cards. Thankard's like, I didn't do shit. I swear, I'm not sweating. You're sweating. An equally capable company of warriors has been sent in their stead. Uh oh, is it the the people that need to fuck already? Out of my way, you training fool! <laughs> I was so fucking right. <laughs> At least that they were able to put aside their feelings for the greater good. Hell yeah. It won't be easy. 
but we're all determined to make this world a better place. Oh, you gotta stop doing this that shit. There's a shit about to make me cry. Steal thy heart. Ah, I'm fine. I think I'm good. This is cool as fuck. This is really neat that they did this. They did not have to try this hard. I heard the story about Varus's voice from beyond the grave. Of course, I didn't believe it, but Lacinia and her sister did. Perhaps there is something to the tale after all. <laughs> While we were playing with my brother and uh, Renee earlier, I made a joke that the body parts are Varus' body parts, and now I'm like, yo, wait the fuck a minute, hold on. Hold on. Maybe that's why people are hearing his voice. Even now, you still... Why go to such lengths? What is it all for? They almost got him. They got him a little bit right there. Maybe. Oofin doofin. Uh, that uh, adds a new context to when you do Praetorium and all eight of you get in Magitek and start blowing everybody up. The contraption is built in the style of Imperial War Machina, armed with a battery of weapons and capable of transforming into different configurations. But on closer inspection, it appears to be no more than a children's slide. Joseph, what the fuck, bro? Finally escaped the watchful gaze of your keepers, have we? Thank Rid. That better not be you gripping my ass. As for determining what comes next, we must speak with Lord Quintus. Well. Uh, at least you can more easily poke his brain now. The little things that make life worth living, don't you think? <laughs> yeah, this moment is probably the best that poor dude has felt for months. Camera? Where, where are you going? That's a massive Dutch tilt. What I was trying to say. Ahem. My lord has requested your presence, and I would hate to disappoint him. You. Okay, I have to non role play things really quick. Damn, Fan Daniel! Damn, Fan Daniel! That was kind of cool, but like, fuck! That's not good! Hello? Oh my god, Xenos, I understand you wanted a date so badly, but this is extreme. I must say, I have gone to great lengths to reunite you with my lord. He doesn't even want to sit next to me. Daddy is pleased his grumpy little boy has finally found his playmate. Oh, was I right? They're using Varus's body? Position is in order. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking fan Daniel, dude. Let me spit everywhere. The chaos and destruction that my hordes have wrought are my gifts to you alone. Where's the return to sender, asshole? And it would seem my friend has lost his appetite. Hard to eat on a new stomach, I buddy. This display of civility might prove an entertaining diversion, but clearly we are above such So Xenos doesn't like foreplay, got it. Wait, All wait a minute. Together. What? <laughs> what the fuck? What? Mother God, ow!
Well, they did a good job making me feel like I was doing the wrong thing. Unable to escape the blast, you begin to lose consciousness. God damn it, get up, Shosav, you fuck! Fuck me, you fucking tried to punch me, you fucking sucker punched me with that shit! You can't motherfucking throw a fucking random detective time maneuver! You can't throw it over the man in the world like that! Get up! Get up! Well, that's really cool looking, but I'm not in the mood for the cool shit. No, no, no! Good fucking throw, Shosov, you son of a bitch! Get away from them, you bastard! I was gonna say that anyway, actually. I was just about to yell it. Wait, am I? No. Yeah, Corin. No. Opposites attract, remember? You don't know magnets. No, I just summoned Ifrit. Fuck! A horrific roar tears at the fabric of reality. What the? What, what the fuck? Corin, I bet you're happy. Anima's dimension. Did, what the f What the fuck? <laughs> oh, come on. We can finish it before I'm another mechanic. Let's go. No mechanics, only death. Run away. Oh, ruined four. Oh! <laughs> Hell yeah. Me too. Love you. Mare Lamentorum. Holy pretty ass. Pretty. Super pretty. Huh? Dog? Are we really about to unlock a trial? What the hell? The dark inside. Are you fucking, are we all ready to queue, I guess? How, how fucking sick. What the fuck, what the fuck? What is he doing? Oh fuck! Yep. <laughs> well. No. I'll find no fulfillment in a contest with you this day. Damn, Fan Daniel really just cock blocked the hell out of him. <laughs> uh, little buddy. We already knew about them, but it's nice to see them. The music. Our time come, my friends. Oh my god, they're so cute. <laughs> Sometimes there's no right answer. I am not alone in my discomfort, then. No, you're not. It is surprising. Though perhaps not. We Scions are wont to debate strategy at length, but are resolute and unwavering in execution. Strange. Scarcely can I remember when last we spoke alone, and so candidly. Oh, that's very cute. Also, I'm glad I picked that now because he was because there was that camaraderie, this like unity between the characters there, and I really appreciate that. For as long as I 
can remember, I've toiled in anticipation of the day when this vessel might be needed. Yo, how cute would it be if we get to take them to the planet, though? My, uh, my name is Puddingway. <laughs> Puddingway? Yes, indeed. A name of deep and abiding significance, I'm sure. Visitors come knocking at your door. Whoever could it be? Oh, you can actually... Oh, This is hard to pick. Oh no! This is fucked up! This is super hard! I want to pick Alphano or Ishtola really bad. And I, I've, I've got to pick Ishtola. She's my favorite character. What the fuck was that? What was that? I thought that... What? What? Whoa, 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 what, whoa! What the hell? What the fuck? No! What? No, 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 no! What the hell? What is that? What is that? What the fuck? Emerald. Oh, that's not, I, I wasn't expecting, I mean, it, would it be a Final Fantasy video if there wasn't a big naked row? Stinia. Link pearl? It's the last thing you ever wanted. A link <laughs> pearl. We'd gain much from knowing your elevated perspective. And it'll keep you from getting lonely, which I know you love. God, dude, the music. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> the hour has come, Vritra. It's all or nothing. Oh, hell yeah. It's all or nothing. Like, Jesus Christ. Oh. Oh, I'm in pain. I'm in pain. Hell yeah! Twin power! She's stinger! Oh no. Hey, it's like the uh, opening. <laughs> but I was like, she just Dante stingered that bitch. Hey man, you guys gave, the, gave her the... I've got them! <laughs> so I was just fucking diving into the water. That's actually great, though. I wasn't laughing because it was funny. I was laughing because he didn't fucking hesitate, dude. No, no, no. No, no, no. I did not think that that poor lady died when she got hit. Steady. You know the way. You can do it, anxious baby, Matsya. Oh, thank God for you, Astinian! You're coming out of the goddamn heavens, you fucker! <laughs> Literally. I just love the fact that everybody was like, it's the dragon. <laughs> and the truth that fills my heart. Wait a minute. Do you mean like, 
You saw Mimi or a, or a Zemmi? Which one? Elidibus, continue speaking. I hope that Hades is not back here because of all the naughty fan stuff that's going to happen because now he's like, it doesn't matter what you do. You could nut in Hades or have Hades nut in you and nothing will change. Oh no, he's literally hotter than before, even though he does kind of look like Ansem or whatever from Kingdom Hearts. If that is Hythlodeus, why is Hythlodeus literally gorgeous, though? Do not perceive me, Emmett! I was gonna say, this is important. It's because I've always wanted to see, like, I literally was yelling about, are we gonna see what Emmett Selk actually looks like? What like, Hades looks like? But he was still in Solus' body, so. Oh, okay. I can actually see my hand properly. I'm assuming that means everyone can see me. Whoa! I am big! Greetings. I am Hithlidaeus, chief of the Bureau of the Architect. Why is Hithlidaeus fucking gorgeous? What the fuck are you? Hermes! Visitors! We have visitors! Who are you, sweet child? Application accepted. The Ampostroma. Hermes saw it high up the tree. He climbed up to get it, but it jumped on him and he slipped. Wait, is he up in the tree? Where is he? Oh, yeah. <laughs> but what if I told you I kicked your ass? What? Will I have to remove you by force? You can try. I do not think it wrong that we live for the star that we strive to make it a better place. And yet, in carrying out my duties here, there are times when I am plagued by doubt. Do you recall what Hithlidaeus said when we first spoke of my nomination? Death is the privilege of those who have fulfilled their purpose, a choice they embrace of their own free will. And when they depart, it is always beautiful. Perhaps it is, but only for man. Creations that he deems useless are discarded with nary a second thought. Some scarcely born into the world, afforded a handful of breaths before life and potential are abruptly extinguished. We make an effort to spare them the pain. They sense what awaits. Rage and anguish and cower and fear. And it is not beautiful. Yet no one cares. No one. So fixated are we upon the duty that we do not pause to question the method. Pain and suffering. Confusion and despair writ plain in the eyes of those poor creatures. Sorry for all the weird fucking edits. Corrin came to sit down, and now our cat's attacking Corrin's blanket. Sorry. I'm yeah, very enthralled in this, though. We turn a blind eye and carry on in blissful ignorance. Nor to miss. And always, always the blossoms shine pure and white. A contradiction so blatant I could scream, want to scream. How can you all accept this aberration? Then I wonder, am I the aberration for thinking thus? And I am filled with dread. But now I know I'm not alone. Not the only one for whom the flowers weep. Owen asked what you thought as he kneeled beside the Alpis. Or if he only did it at Meteon's insistence. Nevertheless, I thank you. To know that you too have experienced suffering is a comfort. I could tell you about suffering. Glad I could be of service. Hmm. To so willingly lend an ear to ease my burden, you are a strange one.
The stars in the heavens. Know you what they are. Though it is too far to tell, each glittering light could be a world not unlike Aetheris. A world filled with life. So many stars, so many lives. For us, there may be no higher purpose than to live for our world. But what of the other living beings out there? What is it that gives their lives meaning? That drives them day after day after day? Hate, if that be your want. We are worthy. But leave your suffering behind. Lay down your burdens. Be born anew. Fly high. Fly free. What is it like in the future? Is the world still a beautiful place? Some parts yes, others not so much. Um, I feel like Shosov loves the world. I don't want to say, like, others not so much, because, like, even Garlemald in, in its own way is beautiful. It's just in disarray. It's as beautiful as ever. Hmm. I swear I could hear the glimmer in your eyes and the adoration in your voice. While we wait, will you not tell me about your adventures? Well, not the portentous events which led you here, but the simple delights all your own. By learning about the future world, I may gain insight into future me's plans. But more than that, I have an interest simply as a fellow traveler. Short of going somewhere oneself, there's naught more stirring than hearing another's account. It'd be cute if we got to pick things to talk about, but I get it. There's too much. <laughs> I want to know what she... What, what, we're talking about uh, uh, Hildebrand was what made her laugh. Yeah, I kind of wish we could pick like maybe one thing per expansion. That would have been cute, but incredible. <laughs> Would that I could have been there to see it. But there's just too much, man. This game is beyond everything. Yours is a harsh and unforgiving world. Yet in spite of this, your brethren hold fast to their virtue. To know that the light of mankind's potential still shines, even in that faraway place, it gives me heart. That was a great shot of her, by the way. Thank you for regaling me with your tales. I will treasure every word. As you know, I was once a scholar, and among other things, I sought to understand the workings of the world. What exactly is ether? How formed the laws of nature? When sprung mankind? Riddles and mysteries beyond counting. Over the years, I have managed to find answers to some few of them. Yet rather than attain a sense of mastery, the more I understood, the more I came to hold the world and its miracles in awe. Yeah, that's the beauty of life sometimes. We too are miracles. Each and every one of us. Born of the warm breath of life that traverses the heavens, swirling through eternity. When I fully grasped the improbability of our existence, nothing felt impossible anymore. If it could be imagined, it could be done. Passion swelled within me, an epiphany dispelling all preconceptions of what was natural and true, and a presence without. Immense, 
yet intimate. Fate, perhaps, holding us in its tender embrace. As reassuring as it was intimidating, how keenly aware I became of creation's fragility, built as it is upon precarious happenstance. I was overcome with an irrepressible urge to know the world more intimately, to hear its voice, feel its breath. I ventured forth on a journey that very day, so very long ago now. Freed from presumption and prejudice, I saw the world through a newborn's eyes. Everything fresh and new, and so, so beautiful. Lands that stretched on forever. Skies one could drown in. The heartbeat of nature, silent yet strong. And amidst it all a people. Beacons of light and life. Laughter that warmed my heart like naught else before. Shit, this is a beautiful speech, by the way. They are my meaning. And my purpose. My love. And so long as they need help, I cannot return to the star. Perhaps my future self is still waiting for it. The moment she can let go and walk unto the end. Safe in the knowledge that man will find his own way. You, who are our future, tell me this. And tell me true. Has your journey been good? Has it been worthwhile? Is this an actual choice or is it just gonna, you know? Because I already know what I would say. Wow, what a good fucking shot of our characters, dude! Pray forgive my lateness. <laughs> I like that technically it's kind of left up to you. It's not even a decision, it's just My left up to you. Vana, your movements, though powerful, are predictable. You fool. Did, I like how she, did she just walk toward me? That was kind of cool though. No, you are not allowed to get a single ether. I don't I don't know. I'm scared that if she gets even one, I'm just dead. Is this gonna is this gonna bring me down to like one HP? No! Vanat, what are you doing to me? She left, it's so, da whatever it is is so powerful that it will just, she left me. Shed your burdens and show me your strength of will. Final Fantasy 15? Vanat, I'm not, this isn't fun anymore. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Made me think of Furion too, a little like, oh, so many weapons. Ow! <laughs> Greetings. Can you hear me? Who are you talking to? Do not be alarmed. I mean you no harm. <gasps> what the fuck? What's going on? But it's 87. Is it? Can I trust Dungeon with these people? What? No. No way. No. No. What? 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 I have to do it. I have to. I have to. I have to. That is far enough, Hermes. Argos, to me. This is honestly just super fucking depressing. This is uh, this is fantastic, but it's it's just sad. Wow, what a cool shot. It's Even it's now, like I do not believe your tale. I would not suffer us to walk such a wretched path. Still, if it must be said, do not squander it. The legacy I leave you.
all this excruciating pain, I breathe fire and torment. I birth a world of suffering to mire and plague. In one fleeting moment, lives come and go, ever moving towards the unknown. And in that fleeting moment, they cry for the answer to the question. Why, given life, are they meant to suffer, to die? As fragmented, imperfect beings, yours is a never-ending quest. A quest to find your purpose, knowing your end is assured. To find the strength to continue when all strength has left you. To find joy, even as darkness descends. And amidst deepest despair, light everlasting. Oh wow, they kicked my ass! Oh fuck! <laughs> that was really good! Ugh. Get out of here! Quickly! That's pretty much just like the stuff from the CG opening. The Alpha should show up next. I won't lose them. Not a one. This will be a brighter future! I won't let a madman's apocalypse ruin everything we've fought to achieve! Ugh, get him, Graha. <laughs> I gotta say that! I have to say it be because of fucking uh Zach! Uh this is precisely why you should never skip your squad regimen. Say, come on, motherfucker, let's go! C -c come on! Wait, what? What? What the fuck? What the fuck? Why? Why? Xenos, here. Why? A heretofore unseen beast. It was ripe for the slaying. <laughs> Did he only help that guy? Because he didn't even notice him and was like, what's that new thing I have yet to kill? <laughs> yet you would ask me why. <laughs> Sorry, Xenos' voice actor is so fucking good. Perhaps you found meaning in living this way. I cannot deny you found strength. Yet if you only pursue your hedonistic pleasures and pay no heed to the plight of others, then no one will give you the time of day. You will never get what you want. Not even the battle you pine for so dearly. Damn, that's a great way to put it about how badly he pines for us. You'll be alone for an eternity and you'll deserve every agonizing second of it. It's true. Hmm, he almost looked upset for a second. His, uh, his, uh, his eyebrows, like, furrowed or something. Yes, but what are you doing here? I'm dressed like that. Aren't you cold? I have transcended beyond such human emotion and feelings. <laughs> Verily, 
I fear for my health should I proceed. <laughs> I'll say the nerve. Sending that letter, then running off to the gods know where. Yeah, I was gonna say they were probably worried about him. He's just he was just so scared and felt so bad, probably. Do you Aww. have any idea how worried we were? I I'm sorry. Twas remiss of me not to deliver the news in person. No, more than that. Twas I who... Our daughter was disillusioned after Master Louisois left her behind. The day the Scions called upon her was the happiest I'd seen her in years. She made her every choice of her own free will. No one could have ever forced her to do otherwise. Don't blame yourself for her death. Celebrate her life. You know that's what she'd want. If there is one thing we resent you for, it was that we could not be there to mourn her with you. Reading uh, the but... words you penned in that shaky hand, we must have cried as much for you as we did for her. Give her a hug. <laughs> I'm sorry. I truly, truly am. I knew not what to say. Knew not how to express my feelings. The poems and platitudes of wiser men, musings on sadness and loss, studied and memorized and meaningless in the moment. Silly boy. We are all powerless before such grief. Even now. Try as I might, the words escape me. But in our hearts, we know, we always know. I remember when you were young. How the lads teased you for choosing the company of books over others. Our moon didn't take kindly to that. Be nice to Orionje, she'd shout, and give them a walloping. No matter how many times we scolded her. So we offered a suggestion. Rather than starting fights, why don't you be the bridge between Orionje and the others? She had to mull it over for a while. Arms crossed, brow furrowed in intense thought. Bro, I'm crying so hard. Fuck. <laughs> I'm dying. But from that day on, she never let you be alone. She'd drag you outside to play, pepper you with endless questions, read the same books you read, all to try and understand you that much better. I'm sure it was annoying and exhausting at the time. But she only ever had the best of intentions. And look at you now, at the center of the crowd. The reason there even is a crowd, having brought these people together. You've no idea how proud we are. To see the boy, our daughter trusted and believed in more than anyone, grow into the man she always knew he could be. I can see her in you too. Feel her. She walks with you wheresoever you go. So thank you, Orianger, for being who you are. That's some good shit, bro. <laughs> oh. oh, oh, God. <laughs> I, I think I can feel her too. The truth of her life, not sorrow, but hope and love. Oh, 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 oh sloppy. 
Uh, that's the law bay! <laughs> fuck! Oh no, that was too goddamn much! Oh fuck! Oh wait, who did that? Oh, was that Louis Swa actually? Oh god, they zooped on down there! I'm losing you! Oh wow, this is fucking awesome! Oh my god! That's badass. This is crazy looking. We wow, dude, this is fucking great. Oh fuck, <laughs> this just looks cool. Whoa, what's going on? Yo, is that Shiva? What the fuck? Corin, get all the way back here. Woo, badass, dude. Let's go. <laughs> that was fun. That dungeon's really cool. They were like, get ready for 10 years of shit. Next time, we will find the answers together. Even here, even now, you have every right to hate me. For the fool I was, for the monster I became, but I will not beg forgiveness. The tale of Hermes, the man who knew so much, yet understood so little, ends here. Thou dost pursue an impossible dream, yet knowing this, you pursue it nevertheless. And thou hast learned to depend on others as they do thee. Thy yearning for the power to save the powerless hath ever driven thee to greater heights. Thou hast grown strong. Though those closest to thee no longer walketh by thy side, their love remaineth thy guiding light. For duty's sake, thou hast been bound by truths unutterable time and time again. Yet thy heart hath never wavered, as thy companions will attest. In thy pursuit of mysteries great, all thou believest is brought into question. Undaunted, thy thirst for knowledge remaineth unquenched. This shit's really good, oh fuck. The fires of hatred that once burned in thy heart burneth no more. From their ashes doth spring the light of love, warm and pure. As witness to black calamity, thou despaired at man's helplessness. Resolved, thou didst unite a distant world on the brink of collapse. And thou, my champion, when all did seem lost, thou never abandoned hope. For every trial and every foe that did bar thy way, thou hast proven equal to the challenge, drawing courage from the many bonds forged on thy journey. You have all known despair, and though the end approacheth, you walk on, heads held high. Therein lieth your power, the strength to silence the song of oblivion. This is incredible, and dude. There is a means to confront her. Yes, if you should prove yourselves worthy. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, no fucking way. <laughs> Nigh impossible is it to send mortals to the edge of the universe. Should you fail, there will be no second chance. As the will of the star, I ask of you this. Do you possess the fortitude to stand firm when all around you does crumble? Do you possess the faith to vanquish despair itself? Should you lack the strength to best a supreme deity, I cannot allow you to make the journey. You must leave this star and never return. 
I'm not saying anything. I'm just freaking out. No. No fucking way. Astinian's like, let's fucking go. Aye. No room for confusion there. <laughs> oh no! In any case, we've come too far to back down now. Corin, if this is a trust, I'm sorry, I have to do it as a trust. I am of the same mind. What power I have, I shall bring to bear. Oh my god. The three of you seem to be forgetting who we're up against. It's not every day we battle a divine being of untold power. Well, not quite every day. <laughs> Do try not to get underfoot. Needless to say, there'll be no margin for <laughs> error. <laughs> Let us hold nothing back. For the people of this world and those beyond the rift. I pose to thee in Elpis hath remained unanswered these long years. I would hear thy response, warrior of light, shouldst thou emerge victorious. If it was worth it? Oh my god, dude. What the fuck? Uh, the Mother Crystal. <laughs> There's no way this is actually a trust. Oh my god, you kid! What the fuck? Wow, dude. Wow! We will find our way, enough. Right then, keep that secret. <laughs> Did they just reference Lord of the Rings? <laughs> Since I left home, I've made a great many mistakes. Mistakes for which I can never make amends. But through it all, you didn't give up on me. To have returned here with you at my side, it means more to me than you know. Thank you, from the bottom of my heart. <sighs> Forgive me, but it needed to be said. I'm the one who owes you thanks. Oh, Steady is gonna get real on the boy. If not for you, I would not be alive today nor come to terms with Nidhogg's spirit. I am ever grateful. Ugh, 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 oh, these are really good. These, these two are really good, but this one's way better. I suppose I ought to thank you both as well. Well, we needn't make it a competition. You know, this must be what Heidlin meant when she spoke about depending on one another. However treacherous the road before us, together we will prevail. <laughs> oh my boy, crazy demon Ifrit. I love this Ifrit, he looks great. Wait a minute! Isn't this just the thing from the 1.0 stuff? It's like the 1.0 stuff, but with the other primals. Oh fuck! Was that Midgard Zorber? Bismarck and King Mugglemog. 
Wow, wow. As someone who's a huge baby about summons, like I love summons. I'm uh, Mommy Ruta. Greetings. Greetings. That was li Oh no. Oh, that's no, that's scary. He's opened the way for us. Sacrificed himself to remake this place. Like Thancred did. <laughs> Oh, Alphano. <sighs> Come. Let us follow the wind. It will not lead us astray. He would not. I shall join thee. As subterfuge is not required. Thou shalt not suffer for mine absence. Ariange! My resolve hath never been as strong as thine. Full oft have I wavered in my decisions, and afterwards been stricken with regret. In spite of this, I may still stand with my comrades, supporting them as they attempt the greatest of feats. This truth I have learned in the course of our journey. And many though my shortcomings may be, I may also claim to excel in prophecies. My studies, into which have granted me the flexibility of mind needed to bend this malleable reality. Thus shall I hope that thou mayest have the strength to resist and our comrades the strength to continue. With you to urge us on, how could we possibly fail? If you like, I will tell you a tale. A tale of a world on the brink, of a people who never gave up on the future, of a man who realized his grandest dreams and then awakened to a grander reality. Times when we fail, we bear wounds that do not heal. But these experiences are part of life, and they make us stronger. We rise, fall, and rise again.
in this city devoid of life. You sense the presence of another. The sorrow of a thousand, thousand worlds weighs heavy, and yet you can walk on. Oh, that's literally you making me walk. Right there behind you. Do not despair. You are not without allies. What we have sown in blood, we have reaped in suffering, and it cannot go on. Upon the souls of they who have sacrificed themselves to pave the way for peace, we will never abandon our cause. While it is true that man succumbs all too often to anger and avarice, he may yet overcome his baser instincts through the forming of bonds with others. Such victories are rarely won without sacrifice, but the prize is worth the price. And we, for our part, are glad indeed to be able to welcome friends both old and new. Save your tears for the more. You may be sure we will have ample cause to shed them, be they for joy or Finish this. I can't believe they made you walk all the way. <laughs> I don't want your help. And I'd rather not give it. Nay, I would have preferred that we enjoy a private reunion. So come, let us dispense with this distraction, you and I. I love that it's not really a redemption arc, but he's, I, I'm not at all surprised. I mentioned this earlier. Xenos is going to help us fucking fight this thing so that just so he can have our attention. Wow, how fucking cool, though. What? That's the final day. What in the fuck, dude? Oh, the music's kicking in. Oh, Jesus Christ. I want to fucking What is going on? <laughs> God, the end singer. She looks so cool. Reach 
We'll see about that. We have a nearly full FC party, bitch. We'll see how that feels. <laughs> I'm going in blind, but I think everybody here has done it except for possibly the other, uh, the rando healer. And also, obviously, uh, Korn and I. She's oblivying in us. Get your Elder Scrolls away from me. Oh, do you have to tank limit break for that? You might have to. Ow! I scared my cat. Did she say did I? Oh, I thought she said did I miss. She's like, Dynamis. <laughs> By the way, the fact that you have to use Limit Break because it's Dynamis, you know? Active time event, <laughs> right? As long as it's not like Elidibus is. Like, that one's not bad for me, but that one sucks for other people. Oh, hell yeah. Spirit Bomb? <laughs> yeah, let's fucking go! Oh my god, actual, like, a Realm Reborn reference, kind of the way they prayed. Oh hell yeah, bitch, let's go! Oh hell yeah. Let's go, dude, oh my god! Corin, what what'd you get hit? How'd you get hit by that? Do we know. You got killed by the easiest mechanics yet. <laughs> I love you. You are not ready. I love you. Yeah, the cat does not help. Oh my god, the music. Bro, this onslaught is so fucking badass. This can only end in misery and desolation. This fucking, like, <laughs> the healers having to, oh shit, having to try so hard. No life, no star, nor the universe Oh, dude, she's just wailing on us. This is so badass. Thank you, healers. And thank you, FC, obviously. It means a lot that you guys came to come help. I, I know. I'll, uh, all right. Okay, sorry. I got scared she was doing something. final encounter I wish to hear your words share your feelings know your thoughts may we please be friends Yes, I can see them. The memories of a long, long journey. So many people. The thoughts of them overflowing in your heart. What they live for. What gives their lives meaning. There was never a single answer. It's different for everyone. Welcome and welcome you gather pieces of happiness, precious and fragile, only to lose them. 
then start again. On and on it goes, until death takes you into its gentle embrace. That which Hermes sent us to find was there all this time. On a Theris. We created it together. Like a field of flowers, perhaps. At first, a single blossom. It spreads and takes on more colors. Thank you for guiding me here. To find these words at journey's end fills me with joy. Such pleasures. You seek for their own sake, and no other reason. Is this not so, adventurer? <laughs> what a callback. Uh... Shit, I, remember, I don't remember when the last time we actually got called that is. It's been a minute. Or at least the frequency of it died down so much that I don't remember. Damn. These are great answers. Oh, shit. I don't know what the... I don't know what the fuck. Oh, man, these are all really good. Oh, no. Oh my god, these are literally all perfect! This is actually one of the hardest... I know it doesn't even matter that much. But this is one of the hardest dialogue choices I've actually ever had in a game. This is rough for me. Oh my god! Oh my god, these are way too good! Oh fuck! What would Shosoff say? I think ultimately that as much as this middle one is not like threatening per se, it's more of stating a fact. It's perhaps a little too abrasive. And I think that Shosov does like to grow in power, obviously, for good reason. Hmm. These two are the ones that he would say, though. Like, if he were to say one, it would be one of these two. And that's why I can't. Um. Oh, my God. No, I have to say this one. Think what you will, but I'm not letting you leave this place. So you would still play the hero. No matter. In acceptance, you betray your deception. You know full well what we are and what we seek. To shine incandescent in death's shadow. Swelling within you. This is actually great. I wish Xenos had been around longer because this would be even better. But I get people not liking him. Let all creation be consumed by our ravenous fervor. God damn, he looked cool. I'm glad there's a phase two, honestly. This is great. Ow! Ah! Ow! Ow! I have one HP! Ow! Do not tell me your life's fire is already spent. I'll never give up. Blame your life is spent, and yet you find the strength to stand. Is it over, Xenos? You give up? You really just want to die? Think of all the good you could do with your power. But I guess it's beyond what you want. A plus unlimited, what? If that's what you want, then you're gonna get it. Oh! <laughs> it's, uh, uh. Come on. Strosov's <laughs> like, I'm done with this fucking book. I'm gonna kick your ass. I'm so happy. I've always wanted that to happen. <laughs> This is so much funnier for classes that are not uh, very physical. Uh, 
If I if he dodges it like Goku in the Broly movie, I'm gonna lose my mind. Okay, no, he's just faster. I'm so I've always wanted Shothoff to just throw the book down and punch someone in the face. Well, let me know what you guys thought of Final Fantasy XIV Endwalker. I think it's just as good. I don't think it's better than Shadowbringers. I think it's just as good and for different reasons. And I'm so excited for the future. The future of this game is... Thank you, Yoshida. Uh, Yoshida-san. But this... Um, I'm beyond excited. Especially with Summoner being what it is now. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> what? That's really cute. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. That made me cry like that, dude. That was actually extra as fuck. You didn't have to do that. Oh, this art's great. And obviously, all the art is super good. <laughs> Oh, damn, man, that was so fucking good. <laughs> I see. Then it is here the Scions at last part ways, each to some far flung corner of the realm. Perhaps. But I believe one of our number, a rather important one at that, has yet to divulge his plans. The grind. <laughs> That's my plan. <laughs> now that I actually got around to beating the story. Quite right. Indeed. Fair point. Everybody's so, getting at me. What's next for our humble adventurer? <laughs> Is it just going to end? Well, Meteon, <laughs> I think I'd like to travel some more to places beyond my knowledge, to areas new, to lands that are new, to cover more secrets of the world. To other worlds altogether. Well, we'll see. I'd like to go to Maricidia. Damn, man. <laughs> it's been... Yet stand tall, my friend. Our journey will never end. What a beautiful, beautiful send off.